What's happening, Amos? Dan Lawless here, filling in for Scott on this week's big match preview for Shrewsbury Town versus West Ham United in the FA Cup. Now, it's sort of ironic calling it the big match preview, considering it seems like David Moyes don't really consider this a big match or an important match in relation to the Premier League. Um, and it's I'm sort of in two minds, and I think it's sort of a lot of the fan base is kind of undecided on on how serious we should take it and, and to me you know any game that you know we play we should be looking to win and we should be trying to win it and you know and the FA Cup is is a cup that's you know special to West Ham fans and you know you've got a lot of paying fans going all the way down to Shrewsbury Town who ain't don't want to go there for us to be thrown in the towel before it's even started and I feel like we did that against Arsenal in the League Cup you know I was at that one and uh, you know we weren't even it didn't even look like we were trying so I do hope, you know, I'd like to see a mixture of youth, but, you know, I do want us to have that experience in there that, that can really, you know, go for it. Um, funnily enough, it's Shrewsbury Town, the last time they faced Premier League competition in this cup was 2003 when they knocked out Everton. And who was the manager? David Moyes. So, uh, interesting little stat that, I mean, some of these, some of these stats you get are effectively, you know, could mean nothing, but... It's always funny, those little things. I mean, this is a team where it could be a bit of a banana skin for us. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's one of them teams that could cause the upset for us. They've been in good form as well in in, uh, in, their, in the league. So, it's it, we could come unstuck against these. We've got, we've got to take it seriously. Um, Line-up-wise, it's very tricky. It's very tricky of what to go for and, and to really know what he's going to go for. We've got a lot of injuries. I mean, this really highlights our lack of uh, squad depth. Um, we got up here, Jose Font, of course, still out. Sam Byram's injured. Um, Mark Noble apparently picked up something against Spurs, which is, if that's true, that's disastrous. Um, Ed Milson Fernandez obviously out. Sacco, whether he's legitimately injured or it's kind of keeping him on off the radar until we sell him or what I don't know what's happening with him James Collins obviously then you've got Antonio still not fit there's rumors about Oxford as well um Creswell Dunny's back in and Anatovic um I think picked something up um so yeah we've got a very very thin squad anyway so we've got no choice but to play youth um you know, we do need, it does highlight the need to get out in this transfer window and make some signings because we are thin and it does, you know, highlight the fact that we do need a right back. You know, Zabba, I'm happy with Zabaleta, but it's just, it's just too much to expect him to play this many games in such a short amount of time, you know, at his age. Uh, and Sam Byram just seems to be injured an awful lot. I thought he was just on the way back and it seems like he's still injured or what. So... We can't we can't go around and rely on a player that's always injured, so I think it's time to definitely sign a right back. Even in, you know a talented young prospect of a right back. Well, that's what Sam Byron was. Um, I did hear something about Carroll um, had a little a little injury. Obviously, he came on it against Spurs later on in the game, but there was I think talk about him having play like holding a little knock or whatever. I I don't know. Well, he always is, isn't he? Um, so obviously Joe Hart is going to go in goal for the cup. See how he does it. It's, it's tough because he came he came in to West Ham for game time, and then you know he had that situation where he couldn't play against Man City, and after that you know we had a good Adrian had a good performance against City, and then he ain't been able to get back in the team. So it's tough. You think you know if we didn't have City at that time, he probably would still be in goal if we didn't play if we hadn't played City yet. Um, but you know, he'll be in the cup. Will he stay? Will he go in the in this window and find a club where he can be the first choice keeper? Who knows? If he does, we do need another keeper. Um, yeah, I'd like to see Declan Rice uh, come in in this in a centre back. Maybe play like sort of three at the back with uh, Rice, Reed, and I think Burke is going to be travelling. I think Burke's back and available to play. Uh, so I would like to see Rice, Reed, and Burke, you know, a bit of experience with the two really promising um, young defenders. You know, and Rice, he had a, a fantastic game against Spurs, arguably man of the match. So um, I'm, I'd, I'd have confidence with that as a, as a three there. 
Zabaleta uh, as sort of the right wing back role. We've got no choice but to play him. So he'd go in there. Um, and then I really want to see Haksabanovic um, come in. Last time I saw him play was against, uh, I think it was against, was it Bolton we played in the League Cup? And he does look an impressive player. I think we need to give Masuaku a rest. Um, some of the stuff he was doing against Spurs was magical when we did get a chance to go forward, that was. Um, so, yeah, maybe Haksabanovic like, as a left wing back role. And then um, in the midfield, it's a tough one. This is a tough one. I think we have, we'll have to play a combination of well, no Mark Noble. So. I want to see Queena, Dominguez Queena, come in. So maybe Dominguez Queena and Obiang. Ooh. Well, you'd have to play yeah, Obiang and Kia. If you're playing three at the back, you'd have to play them three maybe. So Obiang, Kia, A and Queena. Um, and then going forward up front, I'd like to see uh, probably Ayu and Hernandez, like... So are you just behind Nandes so they can sort of play off each other? So it's not strictly two at the front, but maybe Hernandez just playing off are you. I really want to see Tony Martinez, but I don't. I really don't think he's he's going to feature yet. I mean, I, I haven't even heard talk of him possibly being included. Whether he's injured or what, I haven't checked. But um, so yeah, that's why Scott usually does this show. But um, yeah, I've, that's that. I you know I think Hernandez has got a lot of stick. Um, against the Spurs game, but come on, we really didn't play to his strengths. We sat back, um, played so deep. What what did we really expect Hernandez to be able to do there? He really plays best playing off another uh, striker, you know, a playmaker, things like that. And, um, you know, just being in the box and ready to, you know, smash the ball in the back of the net. So we need to get him in them positions. So... Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't got to play many games, Hernandez. So I think go for it, start Hernandez, and hopefully his experience will uh, uh, cause Shrewsbury all sorts of problems. So it's really hard to know what the lineup's going to be. I'd like love to hear what you guys think about the lineup um, that you guys would pick and uh, see what they do. I could be probably completely wrong, but that's something I would probably look to go with with our Finn squad, and especially in certain positions. Um, we do need to give some players a rest as it's been like we've just come through that heavy Christmas schedule but we need a bit of experience mixed in with some youth and that's what it should all be about these games you've got to put trust in your youth not do obviously a big Sam like he did and just fill the whole team up with youth and then let them get battered but you know put a good few young players in there with the experienced players and you know, put some faith in them and give them some game time. And we need to start getting back to that, bringing young players through. We've got some exciting young prospects, you know, in our academy. And now it's about time we start giving them a chance. Like Declan Rice. And I would definitely want to see more of Declan Rice. It's it's only going to do his confidence the world of good. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys, what your guys' lineup would be. Uh, in terms of predictions... I could probably be seeing it being one of them frustrating ones that it just takes ages for us to get a goal and then we eventually get one and we win 1-0. That's what I'm going to go for, 1-0 win with, I think Hernandez will get the goal if he starts up there. We play him right, we can play to his strengths. I think he'll get the goal. So 1-0, being fairly conservative there, but... Yeah, it's it's one against these teams. It's very rare you see us completely smash them and not like three four past them, minute. It? It's usually like really boring to watch, really frustrating, and then we eventually you know get the goal. So that's what I think. Let me know what your predictions are. Scott should be back for uh, the next big match preview. Who who we play next? Is it Bournemouth at home? Might be Bournemouth at home, which is it weren't that long since we played them last time. Um, so yeah, it might be, I think it's that one, but leave your comments down below. We're going to have obviously the fan cams coming up, all of that sort of stuff after the game, subscribe, all of that stuff. One thing left to say, come on you irons. <laughs>